everyone, and welcome back to Two Bros Hot Takes, where we watch a movie and then tell you if you should watch a movie. I'm your movie-watching host, Older Bro. I'm your other movie-watching host, Younger Bro. And today, we bring you one of the great movie franchises of all time, Kung Fu Panda, because apparently, Kung Fu Panda 4 has happened. Still in disbelief. Yep. It, look, at this point, I am just of the opinion that DreamWorks is not capable of doing wrong. That they they just make, they they make movies that shouldn't make any sense work even when they shouldn't work. It doesn't matter if it's DreamWorks. Just sign the check and just say yes, good movie. It's a good movie. You don't have to you don't have to worry about it. If it's DreamWorks, it's good. Well, we still didn't get over the hedge two yet. Look, just because DreamWorks doesn't didn't continue a franchise does not mean that the products they make are not good. They have ma managed to make tr movies about trolls good. That have no business being good. And they are still good. They made Shrek, which, which, while probably being some of their stupidest movies, continue to be good. And continue to keep having movies somehow. Yeah, because guys, Shrek 5 is confirmed that it is going to happen. Yep, still making those movies. No idea how. So, How to Train Your Dragon? Super good. They literally can do no wrong. Yeah. So, so, after this movie, what are they going to call it now? Like, I don't even know if we're going to get Kung Fu Panda 5. No clue. They they may do spinoffs. They may continue. It somehow, I, I can't believe that they continued Trolls beyond one movie, and yet they still have. So, at this point, I've just thrown my hands up in the air and said, I don't know what they're going to do next. They'll do whatever the fuck they want, and it'll always work. If you haven't, if you haven't got my take on the movie, it is a good movie, it's probably a great movie, you should go watch it, it works. It shouldn't keep working, it works. Go watch the movie. Like, yeah, my take on it was, it, it was a decent movie, but I just don't think it was as good as three or two. Yeah, I, and I think I can agree to that. One of the things with the Kung Fu Panda franchise was that when people watched the first one, they were like, oh, this is going to be stupid, and then it wasn't stupid. And then they went and watched the second one and was like, oh, oh my well, this God, is going... So well, they're, they were going to start... They were going to say, well, it can't possibly be as good as the first one, and then it was better. And then they watched the third one and said, it can't possibly be as good as the first or second movie. And it was. What? This one, I think, is finally at the point where it's like, okay, is it as good as the third movie? No. Is it still a good movie is it as good as the first movie or uh, yeah. yeah it's still good it's as good as the first movie it's still within the good kung fu panda it's we are by no means saying that this is a bad movie or even an average movie it is a really good movie but they have reached the point where they cannot possibly one-up themselves any further it's they are now just great movies they are not excellently great movies and that I'm okay with that. But yeah, it's... It's very hard to top Shen as the best villain. No, you, you really can't. It's Shen was a great villain. Just... Yeah. And Tai Lung was awesome. He yeah, was cool. Tai Lung was a great villain. And Shen was Kai... A great villain. Kai was alright. <laughs> yeah, Kai... This villain, I would say, is better than Kai. I, oh, yeah. I would say yeah. that. I, it's... I mean, I don't know if... I mean, I guess I have to say that this villain is better than all other villains, but that's... But the reasons for that is... Spoilers. Yeah, so the point anything. being, it's not... I wouldn't say this villain is better than Tai Lung, or necessarily, or better than Shen, on a personality-wise. They, they are good villains. She, she I is think, a very good I villain. I think the villain had a very good personality. Yeah. I like, think better than Kai, maybe just under Shen. Yeah, it's she is right at that same level. She, she is a very same, good villain. She's same level as like Tai Lung. Yeah, very good villain. Want to be very clear. The villain in this very good. Yes. Poe, I mean, it's, it's Jack Black. Jack Black is always good. Good, always great character. Um. Yeah. I, now, but that said, I thought some of the jokes in this movie were, at some points lazy and just put in maybe i i think that i think we have finally reached the point where this movie it's not that it's overstayed its welcome it has not this franchise is not overstayed its welcome but it is reaching that point of 
okay, I don't know if you can reasonably make more movies and continue getting the same praise you got before. I think the, the movie has finally reached its natural ending where there there is nowhere left to go with At least, the current yeah. cast of characters as yeah. they are. You have to change something. You have to do a spinoff. Something. something. Well, they have spinoffs. Well, yeah, yeah, but it, you have to not have Kung Fu Panda be... Poe cannot continue to be the main character in this. He has to yeah. now be a side character. Actually, I now know what we could have for a fifth panda movie. Yeah. So I'll get into that in the spoilers. Yeah. But uh, regardless, the, yeah, Poe is good. The villain's good. Fox. Fox is amazing. Yeah. Love the Fox in this movie. And Very he's one character. of our favorite voice actors, too. Absolutely. Uh, younger bro assumed that it was Vanellope. It is not Vanellope. She just has a similar voice, yeah. and she has a similar attitude, but I think she was the dragon in Rhea. Yeah, she is the dragon in Rhea. She's, yeah, she's been in quite a few things recently. Uh, I think her name's like Aquafina or something. Very, very good character. Yeah, we loved the fox. The fox was amazing. Yeah. So, um, ov overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. It is still, it is not the best Kung Fu Panda movie. It's but not it, the worst one. It either. is not the worst one either. And that's good enough for me. Great movie. Yeah. So, uh, besides recommending that we go, that everybody go watch this movie for how many movies in a row now? Yeah. Since Morbius. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Before we tr transition into a spoiler section, because I don't think there's really much else we have to talk about about the movie nope. uh, before getting into spoilers. Uh, let me, let me go over, because I, I do want to make clear. One of the things that we we don't necessarily complain about in these reviews a lot, but we do personally talk about, is we do not like a lot of critics when they when they criticize movies. And what I mean by that is, I'm not against people reviewing movies, and I'm not against people thinking movies are bad. What I don't like is when a lot of critics only like movies that specifically pander to them. In the sense that a lot of critics heavily panned the Super Mario Bros. movie because they yeah, thought that it was had no value. Meanwhile, the audience consensus was well, that was a great, excellent movie that yeah. everyone should watch because it's a fun ex rob through the Mushroom Kingdom. And that's why it they're doing a, a fun sequel. story. Yeah, and what, what a lot of critics want is they want, pre like, I'm going to say pretentious, but I don't necessarily mean that they're bad. But, like, they want pretentious, experimental art house films. They want stuff that's smart. And when they get a movie that's not super smart, they pan it. When what audiences want is just a fun, entertaining movie experience. This is a fun, entertaining movie experience. This is not a smart movie. Now, it's not as dumb as Despicable Me or even stupider than that. It's at a normal Kung Fu Panda level. It is a fun movie. But I do want to be clear, that does mean that we kind of are anti-critics. In the sense that when critics review a lot of movies, they tend to rate them, I'd say, a step lower than what the audience will rate them. We tend to be the opposite. We rate them one higher than what the audience often rates them. So I get the feeling that because we say that this is a great movie, the audience is going to say, it's a good movie. It's going to be a 7 out of 10. It's not going to be an 8 out of 10. And critics are going to say it's a 6 out of 10 because it's not a smart indie film. But that should be the takeaway that you get whenever we re review a movie. Because frankly, I've heard a lot of people panning Madam Web and saying how terrible of a movie it is. And that is the audience perspective, not the critics. The audience yeah. did not like Madam Web. And... With Madam Web, like, I went to the movie not expecting to like it, and I ended up liking it. Yeah, but I think the I think the the, the critical consensus is, is that it's absolutely terrible, and the audience consensus is that it's just, it's at the same level as Morbius. It's not that good. I thought it was so much better than Morbius. Yeah, so, regardless, <clears throat> I want to throw that out there. Before we go into spoilers, for anyone who listens to these and stops right here, that unless the movie is so great that we cannot possibly be one level above the movie, which would be something that's just a perfect movie, we are almost always going to review something higher than the audience reviews it, as opposed to critics who will review it lower than the audience will review it. This is not something we do intentionally. It's just what I've found 
after looking at all of our reviews and looking at the non-critical consensus versus the critical consensus, etc. By the way, guys, for anyone who, before, before we move into the spoiler section, I am going to be adding a new section at the end of these videos, after the spoilers section, where we're doing something that's not spoiling the movie. We might move that up. I'm not sure yet. For now, I'm experimenting with things. So, you may or may not see this. We'll see. All that to say, let's move into the spoilers section. Okay, guys. So... The entire movie is that Poe is in the next phase of his training, and a lot of people, including me, are like, what the fuck could be next after you master Key? Yeah. You or must key. Yeah, you must become the Grand Master and Watcher of the Valley of Peace and choose yeah, a successor. Yeah, you become the Pope of Kung You Pope. must become <laughs> Ugwe. So, I heard that, I'm like... This sounds suspiciously almost like the Cars 3 plot. Yes, and, and it is. And frankly, <laughs> and frankly, I haven't seen the Cars 3 plot, but I would expect that this is a better plot than the Cars 3 plot. No. I, I actually thought Cars 3 was so much better than this movie. Yeah. See, I, I've not heard a lot of... I, frankly, I've not heard a lot of good things about the Cars franchise since 2. I think, I think a lot of people Three just didn't like 2. freaking two. destroyed planes. Yeah. Well, yeah, planes, no, any of the side stuff that's not cars, I've never heard anything good about. All the stuff that's well, not cars. Well, the first plane movie was alright, but yeah, it was the second one that... Yeah, eh. all the rest of the side stuff is always just... I've All I've heard is these are at best okay and never better. Meanwhile, it's like Mater was considered like poor for the Cars franchise, but it's still fine. And yeah, I... I like I, Mater's Telltale. It's like... Well, I, I meant the second movie specifically, oh. where he was. Uh, Which it was about was, him, and he's it a was spy. his Telltale. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Movie. Like I, I, a lot of people, I didn't really jive with that because it's like, it's spo this is supposed to be about Lightning racing. McQueen and a racing, and this is a spy movie for some random reason. We don't get why this is here, and we don't really like it. It's, I was fine with it, but I can yeah, agree I was... with people saying this really wasn't why I was watching Cars to begin with, and it's, it's weird. And yeah, three was about Lightning McQueen. Yeah, that I did hear. And, and was about Doc. Yeah, and yeah, it's about and Lightning it was, and Doc. It and was the, Doc's yeah. movie, basically. It yeah. was fucking amazing. Yeah. Are there four Cars movies now? No. Okay. Uh, I, but there is rumor that there is yeah. going to be because I one. always think that the movie that is about Doc is different from the movie that's about finding his successor. Nope. So. Well, the movie where he finds the successor was also the Doc movie. Yeah, exactly. I always think those are two different movies. Nope. So. Because, again, I haven't seen that one. So, but yeah. So. So, yep, it's a movie where he has to find the successor, and yep. if you haven't seen the trailers, it's the Fox. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. If if you don't pick up on that, like, I picked up on that almost immediately, as soon as they, like, I yeah, didn't know. Okay. It was instant. To be clear, I didn't know, I wasn't 100% sure from the, from seeing the Fox. Because you start out and seeing her break into the building, and you see her trying to steal things. And I'm like, okay, this isn't necessarily going to be his replacement. But pretty soon after that, it's like, no, this is definitely going to be yes. his replacement. It's like, there's, there is no, there's no doubt in my mind that that's like, where he's going to go with it. As soon as she started fighting Poe, she was almost on par. Yeah, as soon as she's like, oh yeah, I, I can, I can scrappy brawl. It's not even the scrappy brawl, it's just, like, non- self-taught kung fu basically and it's like yeah as soon as she was capable of not instantly losing to poe it's like yeah. okay i see where they're gonna go with this plot like having a technique that basically is not any name technique is actually kind of hard to fight which is probably why yeah it's, it's basically like it's kind of like drunken boxing of like it's when you don't have an expectation of what's going to happen you can't easily plan a counterattack. so yeah it's that's one of the problems with a lot of the heroes that Poe idolizes, and even sometimes himself, where if you have a named ability, everyone knows what it is, and when they see you start it up, they know how to dodge. Whereas if you're the scrappy fox who just street kung fu fights, 
There is no concept of knowing what's about to happen. Anything could happen. You have to on the spot dodge. And it's, that's very difficult. Yeah, and I like how they rebuilt the Jade Palace because obviously, because the third movie, they destroyed it. They destroyed it. the whole thing. Yeah, the Jade Palace. Honestly, I didn't even notice it looked any different. And I can't believe um, any of the artifacts even survived. Yeah, how are the artifacts still there to be stolen? Like, the Whispering <laughs> How Warriors was that jar. there? Well, that one at least makes yeah. sense. I it's broke like, okay, it twice. I don't want to do it a third time, and guess what? Happens? It broke a third time. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. But I'm how, they do how it. did the fucking spirits you, not get sucked into the she, damn spirit world or some shit in the did last you movie? See Poe's face. He was so disappointed. He's like, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> Every single fucking movie, he fucking breaks it. Yep. It is a tradition. Well, there's of only a, four. There's. There's like what four movies now, so he must not have broken it in one of the movies. He no, must have it's forgotten. Been off. Then it's been broken three times. Oh, he broke it twice. He must have not broke it in one of the movies. I probably oh, the maybe one. the third one. No, the second one he broke it. Hmm, I don't remember it. But either way, he had to no, have not broken it. In sorry, one. no, it was the third one. It wasn't the second yeah, one. Yeah, so he because he went off to fight. So it's the, been three movies. He went off to fight the uh, peacock. So obviously. Yeah. Chen's nowhere nearby to break it. <laughs> it's a tradition of the Dragon yeah, Warrior. It, it really you is. must break the urn of Whispering Warriors at least once. No, I think that's just a tradition of Poe. <laughs> Please, I've already broken it twice. Why do you have that? <laughs> like, I felt so bad for him. Yeah. Like, yep. Oh, but, uh... Yeah, so their first fight was amazing, and how it leads up to the city is yeah, pretty all, decent. Oh, that's pretty good. I I love the fact that because the because the girl the fox character has grown up on the streets, she is constantly like, oh yes, I need to steal this and steal this. And Poe is not only having to fight the people, but prevent her <laughs> from stealing. looting them. Just like, nope. It's very good. But yeah, I like how they chose an arctic fox. To be her. See, I didn't know that it was an Arctic fox. I was just thinking it was a normal, like, gray fox, but. Um, actually, no, you're right. It's probably a gray fox. Because Arctic fox, their fur is completely white. Yeah, I was going to say they're white. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I, I get them confused because they're silvery. <laughs> Younger bro is a bit colorblind when it comes to gray versus white, apparently. <laughs> but no, I, I get what you mean, though. Like, I. When I was growing up, I always knew about the red fox and the arctic fox. I didn't know about the gray fox yeah. until I went to 1812. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I I wasn't, I wasn't sure how I feel about it. I'm like, okay, so they chose the gray fox, and I was like, hmm, if Shifu wasn't a red panda, they might have went with a red panda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Um, I wouldn't know what else they would have went with, so I'm like, eh, Gray Fox is probably close to Red Panda. Makes sense. She's going to be the next Dragon Warrior. Why not? Yeah, sure. So, yeah, I I love the fact, by the way, that Poe put the Dragon Scroll not back on the ceiling. It was on the table. Yeah. Because we see it for a second. Yeah, we saw the Dragon Scroll. it's like, wait, why isn't it on the ceiling where it's supposed to be? So that you can get it down with the staff. They didn't rebuild that. They they didn't rebuild the dragon seal. We don't need that. Like, the dragon scroll... It... It it just means... You. You. Yeah, exactly. So... But the mistake about hiding it and making it difficult to reach. Well, Mm. once they learned what it was, they're like, "Yeah, there's no." But there's always, but there's gonna be a new dragon warrior. There's gonna be new people that need to learn it. You gotta have the mistake. Keep the mistake. Yeah. So anyway, so since since they had this movie about. Poe going off to teach the next dragon warrior to have a successor. I'm like, what could be the next movie? The next movie might not even be about the fox. It's not going to be Kung Fu Fox. No, 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 no. What I think is going to happen is few hundred years pass, the fox dies, and 
Poe's an old man. Wait, hold on, you think the fox is gonna die and Poe is still gonna be alive? Probably, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. If they want to keep the Kung Fu Panda title. No, I I think what's more likely is they'll probably make a movie about Oogway or something, or they'll... or uh, That would be a prequel. Yeah, they'll do a prequel, or they'll do something about the, the Gray Fox. Now, the one thing I do have to say is, you have to feel really bad... For everyone who's not Poe in this franchise, in in terms of the, uh, the Kung Fu Masters. Because Shifu is shafted at being the Dragon Warrior, shafted at being the spiritual leader, shafted at being listened to by Poe at all. And then you come back to, uh, and then you come back to Tigress, who was shafted at being the Dragon Warrior, sh and now... It's again shafted at being the dragon warrior for somebody who's not from the temple. By the way, guys, the <laughs> Furious Five are pretty much not in this movie. No, they show up at the very end to help train the dragon warrior and no other time. The new dragon warrior. Yeah, they, they show up as... Extras. Yeah, they, they show up as extras and a few scenes where they're like, they're going off to do this and they're not in this movie. Yeah, which is a bit sad, but I'm just like... If they could have had them, then Poe could have fought the Furious Five as the chameleon. <laughs> yes, like, that, that would have been kind of cool. But... Awesome. Yeah, but no. But they already kind of did that with the Jade creatures, so he even exactly, fought so. Shifu. So they're like, yeah, they're man. off doing whatever. Yeah, they're doing whatever. They need to go. They need to go do other important things. This is separate. The hardcore wouldn't understand. Yeah, <laughs> the hardcore doesn't understand. She is not going to be the next dragon warrior. Yeah, yes. she is. Yeah, she is not the dragon warrior. She is just oh. a master. She, she trains, uh, she trains the next generation. She listens to Shifu and listens to Poe, and God. now listen. Well, she probably won't listen to the the fox. Honestly, I would love to see that interaction because now you have to have her and the uh, fox have, like, an understanding, because she's just gonna be like, I don't trust her. She's a thieving, conniving bitch. Why would I trust her? Well, she was training her, so she must trust her on some level. No, she trusts Poe. <laughs> Fair. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I could imagine they do an old man Poe movie, mm -hmm. and it's, like, several years later. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I, I don't know. Like, I, I have no clue. But, yeah. anyway, so the next best thing in the movie was probably the the bunnies. The, the bunnies are great. Bunnies. Kid bunnies Violets. are very great. Violets! Violets! See, uh, the entire Thieves Guild was very great of just, oh, so you're saying that if, we, that if we're nice right now, we can be more evil later. And it's like, you know, you're fundamentally misunderstanding the point. It's like, amazing. It, they're so great uh, of just, they have a one-track mind, and it's Steal, rob, kill, lie, manipulate. The, the, and if it's if you're saying anything, it has to be in that mindset. Yeah, the pangolin who was leading him, man, he could fight. Like, oh yeah, fuck, he's really good. Yeah, I have to say, yeah, I I didn't predict the plot of this movie. I suspected it. Like as soon as she got introduced to Poe, I'm like, hmm, why is she robbing the Jade Pal? I was assuming that it was just like, oh, they're valuable artifacts, which they are. They'll sell for a lot of money, which they will. I thought that, that all too. makes perfect sense. But so, then, but I didn't predict that specific aspect of it. But then, as soon as she said, "I'll get you close to the chameleon," I'm like, she's working for her. Yeah. No, did not pick like, up as, on that. As but... soon as they said, "Let's make a deal." Yeah. That's but it when does. I got it. But it did make perfect sense why the thieves guild was so pissed off at her showing back up, which honestly surprised me why she would go to the thieves guild because that's the weird part of this the plot makes perfect sense if she isn't working maybe for... she wasn't expecting to be caught by the police on their way to Kermilia. yeah because that's that's what's so weird about this it's if she grew up with the empress since being a young child why is she wanted by the police Everybody she is the empress's daughter wanted technically yeah, sure but like it seems like she is uniquely wanted, as if she's robbed the entire town blind. And I mean, I guess she has since she she's has. basically royalty. But like, 
It's weird to me that if you're the Empress and you want Poe to get there as soon as possible, you don't want him to have a hassle. Why would the police be trying to arrest her? But, uh, and also, why would she try to go to the, like, why would she try to go to the Thieves Guild when she knows they're going to hate her for betraying them? It's like, there's, it doesn't, the middle part of this movie feels a bit weird. The, I, because it all makes sense up to that point. And then you get the twist, and it's like, okay, but now that middle part doesn't quite work as well. Yeah, I felt like some of the jokes and some of the fl plot either felt forced or was just like, yeah, eh. Yeah, I don't think, again, I want to be clear, I still think this is a great movie, and I still do think that it's it's just as good as the other three movies. I, again, obviously, the second and third movie were a bit better than the first movie, and this movie. But I want to be clear, I still think that this is a very good Kung Fu Panda movie. But yeah, it's, I, there is a reason why I was saying, I think this is like, this fourth movie is on a downhill push after the third movie, and I, I would not want a fifth movie with Poe, Yeah, just because I'm worried that it's going to end up being bad. I and think the worst joke, I don't want that. I think the worst joke in this movie that they should just cut out is when Poe is sitting at the tree saying inner peace, and then he had his thought bubbles. The, yeah, the thought bubbles are kind of weird. The thought bubble joke I liked was with Shifu. Yeah, the ones that with Shifu was worked. Fucking amazing. But the ones with Poe didn't work no. as well. They're kind of Yeah. The one now, now Poe having Shifu and Shifu having Poe, that one made more sense. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you've made that joke a little better, but yeah. the beginning the one, part of it. Now just, the one no. thing that I was surprised by is that because they're all, they bring in a lot of the old masters into this. They bring in a lot of the villains into this. But what you but you never see Uguay. And why the hell does Uguay never show up in this movie? Yeah, I don't I don't know why Uguay didn't. Cuz like I I thought he was going to fight Uguay for sure. I I assumed that at the very least when the all the spirits were leaving, he would show up and say something at least. No, Nothing. No, Uguay not is movie. not in this movie whatsoever. Not at all. Why and we don't know. Maybe the actor died for all I know, but I, think I, so. I don't know, but it it's just surprising to me that it's just surprising to me that the the one that I expected to show up didn't like the the one that I didn't expect to show up was Shen. How the fuck did Shen get here? Shen was in one of the trailers. Yeah, um, so no, no, no. I knew but he was coming. I'm just saying from a lore he didn't perspective, even get any speaking lines. Like I'm just shocked that he was there. Like. Because I, yeah, I didn't I, really think of him as a kung fu master. He was... I didn't think he was in really that much kung fu. He was more into... um, He, he was a mechanic in a way. Yeah, it's like, I get Tai Lung being there. He is... As much as tai he might Lung, be... As yeah. much as he might not have been a good character, in terms of, like, on the side of good, he's still a kung fu master. Like, Tai Lung's entrance was the best scene in that fucking movie. It was great. Like, fuck. And then we don't get the same kind of thing with Shen. I thought Shen no. was going to be next, and then we would see yeah, I don't even know what he fighter. got from Shen. What? what did she... She got the peacock style. The wings? Yes. You know, every... There are other people with wings. So, yeah, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Didn't even use the symbols to try to fuck with his mind anymore. What I thought was going to happen... Um, by the end of the movie was the chameleon was going to take Poe's powers and the fox was going to have to defeat the chameleon version of Poe. And to an extent, she did. Like, the fox did beat the chameleon by the end. Like, that did happen. But I guess I, I, I didn't think it was going to go in the way I thought. But yeah, uh, the chameleon... I can't even the chameleon knew Kai. And also, how the hell is Kai here? I thought the spirit version of him was destroyed. I don't know. Makes absolutely no sense, but I, whatever. Yeah, Kai being there is the one that makes the least sense. Because Kai was not known by anyone until he came to the spirit realm. But where... Poe and the fox go to 
information from the Valley of Peace doesn't really go yeah, there. They only know Shifu. They canonically know only Shifu. He says everybody else's names. It's just like, oh, Shifu? Oh, yeah. They don't Shifu. even know Ugwe. No, they don't know Ugwe, but they know Shifu, apparently, for some reason. But no, nobody else. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah, so. Okay, I how can the confirm. Hell does she know Kai? I can confirm that Randall uh, Duke Kim, who is the voice actor for Ugwe, is still alive. So I think the only reason they did it was just to say. Oh, this villain is so much greater because it has the power of every villain and every hero. So it's like, I think that's the only reason those three were in. I mean, Tai Long obviously makes sense why he was in. He had a unique power that, like, he basically had the powers of a master of Kung Fu. He could manipulate Chi. Like, not Ugwe well, but he understood how to fundamentally do it. It made sense why he's here. But the other two villains, one's not Kung Fu. So you got literally nothing from him. And the other, his soul does not exist anymore. So it's literally impossible he's here. Yeah. So I, I, I they just wanted it for the image of all the villains being there. I, I think Shin was just also a scrappy kung fu artist. I guess. But it's just like, it never came off that way. It, it never really felt like Shin was kung fu. It always just felt like, oh yeah, he uses knives. and Yeah, he uses darts and he does use his tail, which yeah. in real life, is what peacocks do to intimidate their foes. Yeah. But also in, there is a style where you use fans, um, as yeah. a weapon, and, and that's and that basically might be the direction what going. Shin's kung fu is based on. I guess. But yeah, I I definitely wouldn't have thought of him as a kung fu master that would go to the spirit world. Yeah, because the the fans in his tail, like a peacock, is meant yeah. to distract while other things attack you. Yeah. Like, him throwing his knives. So, and but yeah, such. I'll agree that Kai being there doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Kai should have been destroyed, gone. Yeah, so. Like, is there a double spirit world? Is that <laughs> where... <laughs> they pulled it from the spirit world of the spirit world. I also like that Poe is actually sort of kind of following in Ugwe's footsteps. Because in the third film, it was written by Ugwe that he banished Kai to the spirit realm. Yeah. And that's why he did the chameleon. Yeah. Where Ty, he just allowed Tai Long to take the chameleon by the throat. <laughs> that was so fucking good. I love the bit where just like where Tai Long was like uh directing the fight. He's like, I Who are know. you rooting for? I don't know at this point. <laughs> it's so just so like good. it's so good. Tai Lung's scenes is so fucking amazing. Yeah, Tai Long is excellent. It's if there was anybody who I ri- wished they would have said like Oh, well, if we're taking her away, we have to let somebody remain. It's just like, just let Tai Long stay. He, like, he doesn't deserve it, but I don't care. He's he's the Vegeta of this franchise. Just let him come back. He's great. Yeah, I... I thought when they brought back Tai Long, I'm like, hmm, could they make him the next Dragon Warrior? No. no. But could he stay? No. No. <laughs> just no. But... His time has passed. He even, the the, it, the thing I liked in this movie was that he, he acknowledged, like, okay, maybe you're not a total failure, and was, like, he actually seemed interested in, like, I'll await you in the spirit realm of, like, no, there's gonna be a grand climactic fight yeah, in the spirit he, realm he's... between those two, and it's like, oh, that'll be so great to never get to see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I agree with you, Poe is Goku, and like, Tylung so is Vegeta, good. that would so be good. so great to see. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. So So that's most of the stuff with the plot. Um so if we have a future, I'd say old man Poe. If we have I, yeah. a prequel, I'm gonna say Ugwe. It'll if they do a prequel to be Ugwe, and I, I'm gonna bet that it's gonna be the Fox is the next movie and Poe will be in the background. I think if I had to guess, I think the reason that they went with this plot is because Jack Black is getting very old. <laughs> So, it's very likely they're planning ahead for when Jack, like, dies. And they're like, okay, we need to prepare him to be Ugwe so that he can die peacefully in the film. Because, <laughs> like, they're, yeah, he doesn't po, have a... I, I don't imagine he has a lot of time. Poe did technically die. Well, yeah, but... The, just going to the spirit realm isn't exact... It's not the same. But, yeah, with Ugwe, if we get a movie on Ugwe, do you think it's gonna be about him and Kai? 
in his relationship because that's what I could think the be. prequel could be. Yeah, could be. I don't um, know. I don't know, but if I'm we have interested. a future for this franchise that's not a Nickelodeon spinoff, uh, then I will be excited for it. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's basically everything for the plot to, to talk about. The The only thing else that I had to talk about was just the... There Obviously, there's no end credits for this movie. There's nothing after the credits. But there is the mid-credits scene, and that is absolutely excellent, and you should absolutely stay for it. Stay just, for the freaking... <laughs> just absolutely beautiful. Just well worth anything in the movie for just that scene. Yeah, so two of the best things is the credit and yeah. every Tai Lung scene. Yep. Music in like the most of the music in this wasn't notable. Like it was it was good atmospheric music in the same way that all the Kung Fu Panda movies have good atmospheric music. I don't remember really any of the songs from the movie for the fourth film, but for the third film I remember Kai's song. Yeah. That one I'd imagine was like, because I don't remember it off the top of my head, but it's I like remember it. It's like a low-key Yeah, I, re- I think I, as I say, I think I remember, I remember when watching the third dun, film. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, So it's like, I think I've, yeah, I vaguely have memory of remembering that and enjoying it. Yeah, I think the, the only music that I remember from this that really, that I really got into was, I think, the first song. Like, when they're in the then the iron mines and like you hear the the music in that i that one that, that one kind of hit me a bit but it was like yeah it was it, it was the beginning song and the ending song yeah but yeah it's i wouldn't necessarily say there's any any of the music in this is outstanding it's it's just very standard atmospheric kung fu panda music pretty good again except the the, the music over the mid credits which is absolutely god tier and is worth waiting for <laughs> um anything else no i don't think so like just i think we went over pretty much everything mm-hmm. noteworthy again very disappointing we didn't get to hear shin at least say one line yeah hello panda <laughs> nothing <laughs> We meet at... again? <laughs> Question mark? Why am I here again? Just, no. Uh, we didn't really get much out of Kai either, though. Like, Kai didn't say shit. Yeah, so it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not really surprising. The, look, the only villain they really wanted was Tai Lung. That's, that's it. Again, they should have just left the others out and just only had Tai Lung. And been like, okay. Yeah, and Chameleon's his big fan, so... Yeah. I, I thought she was just gonna do... Uh, tai Long and Shin, but I wasn't expecting Kai. Again, no. Kai is the odd Kai doesn't out. make sense. Done, no. Shin, just, we don't need. But Tai Long specifically, absolutely understood. So guys, one section that I, I wanted to try to look at is looking at the Rotten Tomatoes scores, seeing what the audience perception is, seeing what the critical perception is, and looking at if we feel that those ratings are fair. Because, again, we talk a lot about the fact that we rate things much higher than the audience scores and critics tend to rate it much lower so i wanted to test out adding in this extra section to see what other people thought of the movie since this is still supposed to be a fresh take in a sense we don't look a lot up before the hot takes I although we do re-wa- look up things more i did rewatch to. the original three yeah movies but before outside of the sometimes younger bro look things up for like clarity of like trying to figure out cer- what certain details meant in the show but Generally, we don't look up a lot of reviews. No, but it used to be that we didn't look anything up. Now we look a couple things up, but it's very rare. So I wanted to uh, consider doing this section to look at what everyone else thought about it and see if we thought that those were fair. We're not going to go into depth and read the reviews. We're just going to look at the scores. So let's see what exists for Kung Fu Panda on Rotten Tomatoes. So Kung Fu Panda 4, audience score, 87%. Critics... 70%. 70%. So, looking at the scores, I'd say I'd probably agree with the audience score. I it's a good movie. I don't think it's I don't think it's a 70% bad movie. I also don't think it's a 90% movie. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's like, 90. I want to yeah. say maybe 80s, 80, yeah, yeah, low 80. So, yeah. 
we're not good. Like, we haven't, we don't have a history of rating movies, so. We do rate anime, though. We do rate anime, so. I think looking at these, the audience score is appropriate. I don't, I definitely wouldn't say this movie is below 70% by any means, so. Absolutely a good movie. Yeah, the critic consensus, it's starting to feel like the series is running out of steam. I think I can agree. In, in a yeah. rare thing, I can agree with the critics. The series feels like it's run, run right up to the end of where it can possibly go. I think this is a natural place to stop. So I hope that DreamWorks agrees that the franchise ends here and that anything else done with this franchise is not Poe, frankly. As sad as that is, I do like Poe, I like Jack Black, but I think we have reached the end of where this can possibly go. Yeah. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for this hot take. So, we will come back with a new movie at some time soon. I do not remember how many weeks it'll be before the next movie. I... <laughs> Probably next week. I'm not even sure. I'll have to look I'm again. I'm pretty but... sure it's next week. But it's sometime soon-ish. So, we'll see as will you. Until then, we'll see you all in the next hot take. Goodbye.